Good evening guys. Well I haven't actually done a morning vlog like I normally do because I had I was doing a vid there. Shall I try again? <laughs> it's getting late, it's nearly eleven o'clock, so uh yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah. I didn't do a morning vlog because I was doing a video for the Lego channel. And uh I can't do both at the same time. <laughs> I'm good, but I'm not that good. Um, so I've basically been putting a box of bits together. It's mostly non-Lego items in there, or bits. And I've put a few Lego stuff in there that I don't want or will never use, etc. So I've thrown it in that box. That's ready for the car boot. I should get a few quid or so for it. It's a pity I couldn't fill it, really. I'd get more for it if I could fill it. Um, so, I haven't really done a lot today, not really, I've been to Sainsbury's, woo, exciting, <laughs> I've been to Sainsbury's, um, uh, I need to do some servicing to my 1980s uh, rally bike I've got downstairs. I suppose it's a hybrid Taurus sort of bike, an 80s version, because it's not really a mountain bike, and it's, no, it's not a three-speed bike, so I suppose it is like a, a Taurus, I suppose, something like that. It's a nice bike to ride, but, um, I have more spokes I've got to replace in the rear wheel, uh, because most of them are rotten. <coughs> Put it this way, I tried to tighten some up and the spokes snapped straight away. So instead of tightening the spokes now, I've just been going through here and there and replacing them, which is why I kept some of the um, scrap wheels, because even if the hubs were rusty and not really any good, the spokes were still good. So I've been nicking spokes from other wheels, the same size, and gradually replacing them in the back wheel. Uh, and when I ride, not only do I hear like a creak from the wheel moving from side to side because of the weak spokes that are still left in there, um, I can hear a sort of a clicky sound coming from the wheel hub. So I'm guessing the bearings could do with a refurbishment on the in the wheel hub as well. Because I haven't done that yet. I've barely used the bike actually. I just decided to take it out the other day and I'd actually completely forgot about that till I started riding it again and then thought, oh yeah, I've got to do that wheel. So that's a job for the future, which I'll probably do downstairs because if, if I have to true the wheel up, I can do that with the wheel in the bike. So it'd be easier for me to leave the bike downstairs. Um, it's not easy to do it in the bike, but you can do it. You just leave your brake connected and use your brake pads as a guide. Uh, like I said, it's not easy. Touring up a wheel isn't an easy job anyway, not in my opinion. It's probably one of the trickiest jobs you can do. And building a wheel. I tried to build one which is actually up in the... Um, Closet out on the landing there, outside the front door. But, uh, just replying to Mum while I do this. My sister's finally started a new job in town, which is good because now she can hopefully, if she sticks this one out. And not quit it again. She can get herself back on track. Bless her. Anyway. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, that bike wheel. <laughs> Hello Nemo. What are you up to? Yeah, so I've got that bike wheel to sort out and then that'll be a perfectly good, fully serviceable bike. 
one day I may strip it all down and respray the frame and do some, you know, a full restoration on it. But <clears throat> I need to get hold of some um, a full set of cantilever brakes for it because I haven't got a set on there. I've got odd pairs. <laughs> I've got some silver alloy ones on the front and some black ones on the back because with the original alloy pair that were on the rear the um, thread for the bolt that holds the cable tight you know the brake cable tight and allows you to adjust it that thread got um, chewed up because aluminium is only soft and uh, that knackered it, and I haven't got a tap and die set, otherwise I'd have just cut a new thread and fixed it and put a slightly larger bolt in it. But, uh, so that kind of knackered that idea up, so I do need to find a pair of those. Actually, I do think I've got a couple of pairs somewhere. Or did I use those? You know, I can't remember. Oh, they're black ones, I think, and I didn't want to use them on that bike. Uh, Facebook's being a right pain at playing videos tonight. It doesn't want to do it. Oh well. I'm not really watching Facebook videos anyway, am I? Ooh, well. It's payday tomorrow. Got the bloody phone bill to pay, which is 50 odd quid, so that's a quarter of my money gone right there. <coughs> but uh, it's worth it. As you know, I don't use any of that. I used to. I used to, years ago, um, get up, get some breakfast, you know, come in here, sit on the sofa, watch a bit of TV, then put the PC on. But now I just get up, put the PC on, go empty my bladder, get dressed, come back to the computer, because by that time it should usually boot it up, check emails, check a few other bits and bobs and whatnot, and... So I've got psoriasis is itching on my arm. And uh, then go and get something to eat, come back, watch a few YouTube videos, and then go and do whatever it is I've got to do. Unless... I'm doing a car boot sale with Mum, then I don't always have time in the mornings to do any of that. Like Monday, I had half an hour to get ready because I overslept. Oops! <laughs> so I just literally got up, got dressed, had a tinkle, took my pills, and uh, took all the stuff I was going to take to the car boot downstairs and just put just inside the front door so I didn't have to keep running up and down the stairs when mum turned up and waited for mum. There's something else I was about to say and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> oh dear. I wonder if anyone else with Asperger's has uh, short term memory problems. Because uh, my memory just Short term is shit. You know, when I was growing up, and I still do it actually, mum used to ask me, should I go and get, I don't know, a purse from the kitchen? I'd get up, I'd get as far as the lounge door, and then I'd turn around and say, what did you want me to go and get? Because by the time I've gotten to the door, I'd have forgotten. <laughs> Especially if there's something else my mind's concentrating on as well, I don't know, something distracts me, like something on the TV, for example, or someone else say something immediately after I was asked to get something, then that would just go, you know, whatever I was asked to get would go straight out of my head. It uh, used to annoy the heck out of mum, but I still do it. If you asked me to go and get something now, I'd get as far as the door and turn around and ask you, what did you ask me to go and get? <laughs> By the time I get to the door, I've forgotten. <coughs> Long term memory, that's good. 
much better than mum. <coughs> Mum's, sorry. I think I might have to uh, pour myself a Coke. <coughs> which actually isn't a bad idea. Because when I found my pill packet, which has got one pill left in it, uh, I've got a pill to take, because I haven't done that yet this evening. Naughty, I shouldn't leave it so late. What do I do with it? There's one left in that pack. It's probably right under my nose, and I just can't see it because I'm blind as a bat. Oh. <sighs> see, even my mum's optimistic about my sister and her new job because she's just replied she enjoyed it, but I don't know how long for. Lol. Oh well. Hopefully she can stick this one. She's got to do something. I've put you there because the cat is wanting to get up on the table. Oh no, he's changed his mind now. That's typical. I just found out where my pills went. <laughs> yeah. Well that's missing as well. I should have a box of that form in somewhere. With at least one tray left in it, and I can't see that. Mm. Twat, staring me right in the face. It's got stickies on it. Am I right? Have I got a tray in? Yep, so I've got one more week's worth there. Mm. I'm going to have an odd number on the tray now. So I might find that other odd pill. Hate odd numbers. That's probably related to my Asperger's as well, because you can... Stupid things like that can get on your wick, and odd numbers do just irk me. Everything's got to be an even number. Oddly enough, unless it's my road lamp collection, for example, then one of each suits me. So, God knows how my brain works. I don't even know how my own brain works. The human mind is a complicated organ. What's the bet? Now I've popped a pill out of this brand new tray. I'll find the one I was looking for. Probably buried under that stuff on the floor, actually. Oh. Let me whistle a bit. Nom, 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 nom. I'm just uploading a couple of videos to YouTube. I've sort of done a video dump over the last couple of days to catch up because I've now got to render about eight videos on there now. Plus I've got some single shot videos there that don't need to be put together. That's why I do like doing videos without having to turn the camera off and come back because then all I've got to do is put it to the computer and upload it to the YouTube without pulling out Windows Movie Editor thingy and putting putting them all together and I don't know I might have a mass video edit tomorrow because all the ones I've had listed are up no <laughs> the ones I've had waiting so I keep getting behind way, way, way behind. Uh, probably not help because I do get distracted with uh, life things. You know, that's part of being an adult. Unfortunately, when you're an adult, you have a lot of responsibilities. Even if you have mental disabilities like I do. You've still got responsibilities, you know? It doesn't stop me being a responsible person. If it did, I wouldn't be living on my own. <sighs> I was actually thinking, if I could find another home for all those cars, 
and I can turn that into another Lego shelf. <laughs> I am running seriously out of space. I need more toy towers to sell, actually, because I did really well at selling those um, Monday. I don't know if it's because they were mostly old, sort of late 19 or 1980s to early 1990s era of Matchbox cars, or most were, but uh, people seemed to like them and snapped them up. Not just kids, there was uh, a couple of adults that purchased a few, only put them out for 20p, most of them. Most of them, not all of them. <coughs> so, what are you doing? Because most of them were pretty rough. The better condition, older ones, I put out, I think, 50p, something like that. But uh, when I set up again Friday, weather permitting, I'll just put the rest of the 50p ones with the 20p batch and I'll probably go. I may have a sift through some of my cars and see if I can find any more. Other than that, I can't think of anything else to take. I was thinking of taking my spare um, Sega Mega Drive. But then part of me is thinking, what if that one fails, you know? But I suppose I could always buy another one. But I don't know if it would sell, because there's no cables for it. I've got no controller, no power cable, no thingamajig, RF cable. Ooh, that wind is picking up tonight. Going for a little wander tonight. I like going for a wander at night. Not when the cops are about, though, because they got on your week. They want to know why you're out and about walking at night. Because I feel like a walk. <laughs> I actually got stopped once, and I was walking around wearing a big, bright, high-vis coat. You know, one of them yellow ones I have hanging up here. And it still stopped me thinking I might be up to mischief. Yeah, right. I stand out like a Belisha beacon at a zebra crossing and they're thinking I'm up to no good. I'm daft, not stupid. If I was up to no good I'd be wearing complete black. <laughs> not something that you could see me from six miles away. <coughs> e uh, what was that board out of? Oh, I remember. Was that the old uh, black monitor? Nuts, I forgot to charge it again. Oh, well, actually, I suppose I could leave it on for a little while. Where is it? My G Tech. I found my charger for my G Tech. It's exactly where I left it, but I forgot that that was where I put it. <laughs> so. Here we go. Stick out there. Oh, shit. Oh, I did have it. Now I've lost it again. <laughs> you kidding me? I had the damn thing earlier. Now what have I done with it? It was here when I was sorting out Lego. And I kept it to one side because I thought, well, I'd need that. Because I want to charge my G-Tech. Now I can't find the bloody thing. Again. <sighs> if I could remember what voltage the adapter was, I'd have found another one. <laughs> but, uh, I can't remember. It's down here in the dark, is it? No, I can't see it. <sighs> no, that's just a normal plug. You know, I've got my laptops all nicely um, arranged under here. There is one right in my shadow that you can't see. And there's one under there. And, no, there's two under there, sorry. And I've got two rows. There's another row of laptops behind this front row. What have I done with it? Oh, I keep forgetting to take this to the car here. It's a little model um, 
a little sort of spray thing for model spraying. You know, you fill that jar with um, some paint and you put that end on one of those compressed canisters of air and away you go. I'm not going to use it, that was given to me. But uh, I'm not going to use it, so that might as well go in the uh, top box for the car boot. I'm going to try it. I wasn't going to, but I will try because you never know. What was that? Oh, oh yeah. I was just wondering why um, my web browser wasn't up. I was just taking the mickey now. I was sitting here on the floor, sorting Lego out to put into that box over there. And I saw it on there somewhere on the um, amplifier, I think. And I thought, oh, I'll keep that side because I want it. Ah! <laughs> I found it. It was hiding. For some reason, that charger don't half get hot when it's charging this. Where's my plug hole? Where's my plug hole? Get the green lights on. If you're wondering why there's a piece of card stuck to it, it's because I broke the little plastic cover on the top there. So that's just to prevent all the um, muck that swept off the floors for being thrown straight back out again, so I'll just take the piece of cardboard over it. Because I'm not the sort of person that would throw something out like that, it still works. It's just got a battery on it, that's as dead as a doornail at the moment. So I'll be giving a good charge for the next sort of hour or so. Rasus right there that's driving me up the bloody wall at the minute. And people always say, Don't scratch. You try not bloody scratching. We've just got constant itch. That's one reason I always wear jeans, because it's all over my legs, and at least if I wear pants like this, it's covered and no one can see it. I won't overhear snarky comments when I'm out. Not that that would really bother me. So I'd get told to wreck off. Oops. Hold on. Video is still uploading, so I can't do anything with that yet. <sighs> Must be getting late at night because. My Facebook's going quiet. Ah, that's all right. Huh? Um, someone got removed from a Lego group, and the reason was given there. It seems what they've done is bought some Lego minifigure sets from sellers on this group and then turned around and posted them for sale back on this group at a much larger profit. So he got his ass booted from the group and is now wondering why he got booted from the group. Well, duh. You're ripping members off from the group. <laughs> no admins of any group in their right mind are going to keep people like that around. I would have done the same thing if I, you know, if I was running a group and that happened. Was, um, according to this little paragraph here, which is actually by this admin, he's one of the admins. I don't know if he's the group owner, but I know he's an admin. Um, I've got eight admins on this group. Oh yeah, anyway, before getting uh, the admins of the group, he'd said in here that um, he'd had more people contact him. Actually, what did he say? Let's just uh, open it up. 
I never had so many members contact me in such a short time before. You were so blatant, it was obvious. <laughs> but you don't do that. And if you aren't going to do that, you don't go and do it, put it straight back on the site you've just bought them from, do you? I mean, you must be a complete idiot to go and do that. I mean, did you not think that someone wouldn't notice? But, um, I've noticed I've got eight admins, and I said might want to consider reducing the number of admins, but, because uh, I find, or have found from previous experience, um, just as your average member of other groups, member? Member of other groups, that, um, groups that have a large number of mem um, admins, they tend to disagree. Because um, apparently when he was removed it caused a rift in admin and split because of admin felt he... half admin of admin felt he should go, other half felt he should stay. Well, if the admins felt that someone like that should stay, you know, then they're not really suited to be an admin in my opinion. Because, you know, why would you allow someone as blatantly conning people to make a profit of their own onto the group. You wouldn't. You'd kick him. I'd kick him. But, um, in reply to my, um, cons me saying they should reduce the number of admins, another admin has replied with, we have more to cover different time zones. We have admins from the UK, Ireland, and the US, so that's fair enough. You know, at least the admins didn't bloody kick me from the group for making such a comment. I've been kicked from groups before for um, commenting commenting on the admins like that because the admin couldn't be bothered to actually answer my question or to correct me, so he just kicked me. I thought, well, isn't that mature of you? <laughs> yeah, this is a Lego... I can't remember what the name of the group is now. Lego minifigure swap and sale. And it's a worldwide group. Which is why, on the groups I admin, one of our rules for any advert selling, or selling adverts, I should say, get my grammar correct, um, always ask that people put location. Because when you run a Facebook group, even if you're not worldwide, you could be nationwide. So, for example, we've got a group called Ford Transit Lovers, which is for people who love the Ford Transit van. And that's a nationwide group. There's people from right across Great Britain on there. And I just think it's easier to put your location so people haven't got to ask a hundred times in the comments, where are you? Not that that actually makes much difference sometimes, because even when the location is there, I've still seen people ask, where are you? You know, we're not asking for exact home address, just the area of the UK you're in. So you could put just your county. You know, it could be Norfolk, Suffolk, Midlands, whatever other counties there are around here. Kent, Essex, Cambridgeshire, all those... You know, not an exact street address, obviously. You'd PM that to um, anyone that wants to come and look at whatever you're selling. Or pick up whatever it is you're selling if they've agreed to buy it. But uh, if you give a county, or... Uh, if you're in America, I can't remember what they call it. Your city, or your state, or whatever. Um, that's fine. And, uh, we do like to see, on the adverts, um, a price as well, and a bit of a description. Because it just saves people asking the same damn questions over and over again. You know, you wouldn't do it if you were posting an ad to Gumtree, or Craigslist, you know, you'd put a bit of detail in the ad, wouldn't, wouldn't you? Because you'd want to attract people in. 
Oh, and a photo is the third rule. So we only have, pretty much only have like three main rules when it comes to posting ads on our groups. Um, obviously we have some groups where we don't have ads because ads are not related such as our um, ghost towns and abandoned buildings because it is about a specific subject. So no ads on a group like that. But uh, on our Ford Transit group, oh yeah, and there is a fourth rule. It has to be Ford Transit related. So you have to be selling a Ford Transit van or a Ford Transit recovery truck or a pickup truck or whatever. Or Ford Transit parts. So for example, we wouldn't allow, s if someone posted an advert selling mm, fishing rods, for example, that wouldn't get approved because it's not for transit related, it's not related to the group. Now if you want to sell something like that, go on one of the thousands and thousands of local for selling, for selling, for bollocks, for sale groups out there. And there's loads for my area. Absolutely loads. Because for some reason people have set up selling groups for specific little areas. You know, there's several for my own hometown, and then there's several for the next town, nine miles away. There's even one for the village where my mum lives, and there's, I don't know how many for Norwich, on Facebook. <laughs> but, um, they're all popular. But the stupid thing is, I've actually watched them. Nearly everybody you know will be on all of them. And you will see them, you know, they'll post an advert to one, and then you'll see it pop up on another one, and then you'll see it pop up on another one, and you'll just, if you're a member of the same sale groups as your friends, you'll end up seeing, getting like 20 notifications come in, because they've posted it all up on the same group, on the same groups you're on. Which is a bit ridiculous, really. There's only a couple I post on on Facebook if I ever have anything for sale. Um, the ones that I know that I've actually sold things on before, which is one's called Face Bay Munsley Munsley Munsley. I really can't talk tonight, can I? Face Bay Munsley and surrounding area, which is a village about five miles from me. That's been a successful group for me to sell, especially bikes on. I don't know if I put a bike on there, that'll sell. <laughs> I haven't got any bikes at the minute. <laughs> God. Oh, sorry, I'm gone. That's a good job I paused when I did, because this video just automatically stopped and started by itself. What I was reading here is, I'm on this um, debates and discussion lounge. Not that many people actually seem to debate. They seem to sort of uh, slip into a personal insult thing, and you know, I can't be doing that. I was unnecessarily a twat to someone on here the other night, so I've just given an open apology. Because I was wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I will admit it. I also admit when I'm being a twat. Anyway, what caught my eyes, I was in Curry's tonight and was served by a woman with one arm. Very pleasant lady, and she knew her job 100%. I thought to myself, if she can work, 
and she is to be applauded because she could claim benefits and chose not to, why are the thousands out there who are fully and able-bodied not doing so? That is actually a fair point. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm not a fan of the Tories, don't get me wrong. They're not my favourite group. I wasn't happy when they got voted in. But I'm not narrow-minded. I do see what they were trying to do with a lot of the things on their agenda in the past five years and for the current five years we've got them. It's just that I don't think they went the right way about doing certain things and I don't think they put enough thought into their ideas before they put their ideas into action. A lot of the time it just seemed like they sat at a desk like I am and come up with an idea and said, yep, we'll do it, without giving it any thought, any thought of any possible consequences that may arise because of their idea. So they didn't, you know, there's that result resulted in people suffering because of their ideas which I'm pretty certain they didn't intend to, but, you know, David Cameron is still the sort of bloke I would still quite happily give a smack in the chops to if I saw him. If I could, I'd end up in prison if I did, so I wouldn't. I'd probably end up in prison for a very long time if I did. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, but he's got a point there. When I was on a course through the job centre, it was a course that you had to do to get your JSA. This was going back when I was on Job Seekers Allowance. I'm now on Employment and Support Allowance because of the arising mental condition I've now got and been diagnosed with. doesn't mean I can't work. It just means I need different support to a normal person. I'd quite happily go into work, but if I get put into the wrong job, I won't stick it, and I'll end up quitting, or I'll end up getting fired, one or the other. And I don't want that to happen, and I'm pretty certain the government wouldn't want that to happen, nor would the people at the job centre, anyway. Back then, I was on a course that was ran by a company called A3, which no longer you know, their, camp, their contract ran out with the government and it wasn't renewed. But I remember sitting there at these A3 things and there'd be other people, a lot younger than me, I'm t you know, I'm thinking, you know, 18 to sort of 20, maybe 25, between 18 and 25. And they were your typical cocky, Chav types, you know, they'd come in with the bloody hoodie, trackies on, and the trackies, tracky bottoms on, tracky top on, hoods on, cap, baseball cap, trainers, giving it all a cocky attitude. And I can remember one turning around and saying, What do I need to get a job? I get paid to sit around on my ass all day. No shit, that is what he turned around and said at this A3 course. That's the attitude he had. Not Hmm, I need to get a job and get myself sorted so I can perhaps move out of the parents' house because no doubt he was living with his parents. You, know, you may not have been, but I would bet money that on that he was. <laughs> mm, there was loads of people like that. And I just couldn't believe how people can think like that. You know? How they'd want to be so they're more or less saying that they want to be treated as scum. I don't. That's one reason I actually hate having to claim. Because I don't want people to see me as scum like everyone else. You know, because I am legitimately claiming it. As you know from the previous videos. I'm not claiming DLA. Um, but it has been suggested, or PIP as it's called now, but it has been suggested, so 
I can put an application in. If it goes through, it goes through. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, nothing gained, nothing lost. <laughs> I'm still, even if I didn't get awarded pip, you know, I'm no, but not gonna miss anything because I'm not gaining anything. So, but uh, even the job centre has suggested that I should um, apply for that. So I must be entitled to it. Because I know there's people out there that get pip. I've actually got a friend that get pip. Um, for his ADHD. Mm. Pardon me. My mum's just messaged me and asked me, could you possibly hold some money back in case we need it for dough, please? And I've just said yes, of course. I've got to see, her go and see my sister go to jail. Uh. I completely lost the thread now. Thanks. Some people bitching at each other again on this group. That's all I've seen today. It's just people bitching at each other. Um, someone's put, I would not dream of messaging someone over a disagreement, you know, private messaging, over a disagreement on Facebook. He's a real keyboard warrior, but sadly his testicles have long since taken on the appearance of walnuts. <laughs> Apparently America censored that out. Perhaps I should, but... You know, sort of drawing of... A dick. <laughs> on a thing. You know, it's not like it's the real thing. I don't know. Well, this is the other thing. Um, an, a an EU ruling could make David Cameron's porn filters illegal. David Cameron, for a while, has been wanting to um, automatically block porn for those with internet. So if it came into action, my, my internet would automatically block porn. Uh, but it seems, got an itch, that the EU could throw a spanner in that, and I uh, can't remember what they said now. Let's just um, bring it up and have a quick read. I can't remember what the EU wants. The EU is set to declare internet content filters must be opt out. Ah. Ah. Must be opt out and can't be activated by default. Whereas David Cameron wants them activated by default so even if um, so like I said existing customers will just get their porn you know blocked just like that and new customers signing up would have it blocked and they would have to phone up and get it unblocked now I'm a single man it doesn't bother me I don't watch a lot of bloody porn anyway 
if I'm honest, once a week, maybe, maybe twice. And that's only for about 10 minutes. <laughs> maybe 20 if I'm lucky. <laughs> so, yeah. see what difference it makes really. You know, opt out, opt in, who cares? <laughs> but uh you know again I can see the Tories um reasoning behind it because it is easy for kids to access or it's extremely easy. But at the same time, <clears throat> it'll also be penalising legitimate folks like me. Well, that would actually bother me, I don't think, because like I said, I'd barely watch it anyway, so I'd go ahead and block it for all I care. <clears throat> Even though I don't care, I did vote no on this little poll. Because I think it should be something, you know, that parents decide. You know, parents should take responsibility. And they shouldn't expect uh, the government to keep wiping their asses to protect their own kids. If you've got kids, you as a parent have got that responsibility to A, educate your kids, not just the school. You have to do it as well. B, keep an eye on your kids when they are using the internet. <clears throat> no, if you're dumb enough to buy your kid a laptop or a smartphone or whatever, so they can hide up in their bedrooms and use it, and then whinge because they're accessing porn, well, that's your fault. You should just have one main family computer in an area where you can keep an eye on what's going on. Or, you put locks on your internet. Which is why I think this should be optional. Or maybe, this is the other idea I had, maybe, when you sign up for internet, you should be asked, do you have kids? If you say yes, then maybe the you know the person taking your order would can then ask, will they be using the internet? If you say yes again, then maybe that bl internet blocker filter, whatever you want to call it, will be automatically put onto your order, and you then have to opt out. I think that's the fairest way to do it. You see, and this is my point with the Tories. They come up with these ideas, but they don't seem to put any thought into it. They just come up with an idea and charge into it like a bull in a china shop. And I think that's the main reason, really, why I couldn't vote for them in the election. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, they had... Well, I know a lot of people don't like them, and I might get hate for saying this myself, but they have done the country some favours. They have pulled us out of the debt that Labour did get us in. Because if you remember, Labour did like to spend, 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 spend a lot, which got us into debt. Uh, so I don't agree with a lot of the cutbacks. Well, not a lot of them. There's some of them I don't agree with, as I've said before. The NHS should have been left alone, at least. And, well, the three emergency services should have been left alone. You know, they should have um, a lock put on them that says, do not touch these. Because the police were useless enough as it was before they had cutbacks. 
the far fighters don't deserve it, and neither does the NHS. The NHS system works, although the only problem I have isn't actually. isn't actually NHS related, but it's related to people. Because you go around E and there's people in there that have gone in with some sort of cut that could have easily been dealt with at home, or they did it because they were doing something completely bloody stupid. And it's just it just clogs up A and E, but apparently our local hospital's got a new system where um, there's a separate unit that deals with that kind of walk-in injuries, um, leaving A and E and A and E staff free to deal with the emergencies. You know that's why it's called accident and emergency. But then people used to moan, well, I've been, I've been sitting in A&E for hours and they haven't seen me yet. Well, no, of course not. If someone's going to be brought in on an ambulance suffering a heart attack, they're going to deal with them first. Over your cut finger. You know, your cut finger's not going to kill you. <laughs> but uh, with this new system our local Norfolk and Norwich University Hospital has, I am... Um, separate them and they've got a separate unit they've just built to deal with minor injuries which is a good idea I don't know where they got the money from to pay for the extra staff but maybe that's going to come out of the um, promised 8 billion investment Cameron has um, said in his agenda so I do hope so I do hope he actually um, keeps to some of his promises. And, well, I can only hope, can't I? But, uh, I still don't have much faith in the Tories at the moment. Can I slap him with a wet fish? <laughs> um, Ian Duncan Smith is trialling um, cards that you have your benefit money put onto to try to stop um, um, people spending their money on, you know, their benefit money on alcohol and drugs. But um, there's a discussion on that debate lounge thing I'm on about this. Someone did say, well, it may cause crime to increase because people will, or addicts will find other means to get the money, which is true. That is very, very true. It could. Uh, but actually, thinking about it, I think that was an old news article. Because I, for some reason, I've got this little bit in my head that thinks that Ian Duncan Smith may have suggested that some time ago. I wonder if I can find it on the group again. One about assisted suicide. Uh, jobless mother has spent £20,000 of child benefits on cosmetic surgery. I'm not convinced that's actually a true story. It might be, but I'm not convinced. <coughs> Ian Duncan Smith in Cabinet Row, over £12 billion pound welfare cuts. Well, that's actually not Cameron's fault. Well, I suppose it is. Because he um, appointed Ian Duncan Smith. Uh, where is it? Uh, bedroom tax. 
can't be that much further down. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, that was me that um, posted up. Duh. <coughs> Let me look at the date. Oh yeah, September 2014. I knew I'd seen it before, but it's only just dawned on me. Hmm. 